So in this question, we are looking at a displacement versus distance graph, where this is the displacement of a slinky position from its normal position along a distance of slinky. So these numbers here refer to these numbers here, position one, position two, position three, position four. And what the displacement is referring to is how far have each of these slinky bits moved left or right. So the displacement, these numbers here, indicate how far has each of these little bits moved left or right. Now what's important for this problem is what does right mean? Right means positive position. So these displacements here are right, which means these are must be left. So the one has zero displacement. That means position one is displaced in no way from its equilibrium. But to answer whether or not one, two, three, or four is a compression, I think it's best to look at the neighbors. So let's consider what's happening to the right of position one. What's happening to these guys right here? Well, these guys here are displaced to the left. These guys have a negative displacement. They're displaced left of the normal position, meaning these guys here have actually moved this way. How about to the right? How about on this side of position one? Well, on the left side of position one, these guys here, on the left side of position one, those have moved to the right. They have a positive displacement meaning these guys on the right side have moved this way. So with that picture, it's very clear then, on the right side, these bits have moved to the left, and on the left side, the pistons have moved to the right, this area of the slinky is gonna be very, very congested, very, very compressed. The reverse reasoning at point three, at point three, these guys have moved this way, and these are moving this way, at point three, we're gonna have a slinky that's much more spaced out, and then we set up a rarefaction. So we actually have a compression here and a rarefaction here. 